Hi everybody, welcome. Today I'm sharing with you an antique shop with me and haul for our little Fixer Upper Cottage. I just put out episode number nine of our Fixer Upper Cottage last Friday, so go check that out if you're interested in the progress of our 450 square foot little house. I am now to the point where I am finding some decor, some um, bigger furniture that I'm looking for, and certain things that I have been looking for are like trunks or big chests, so a small little table, side chairs, little bench, um, just some little kitchen knick-knacky things. So just some fun touches to add to this house. We still have um, some progress to make on the house, but we're hoping mid-April, so that's coming up quite quickly. But anyways, I'm gonna take you antiquing with me. I had a friend with me and my little daughter, so it was a bit challenging with having a little toddler, but hope you enjoy coming along with me anyways, and the haul will be at the end. found was this beautiful crock. I actually have one behind me that some of that greenery is in. This one I got for four dollars. It didn't have a price on it. Um, I said what would you like? They said five. I said would you take four because it's cracked and chippy like 
it really wouldn't work to store any food or any, anything in it. I just thought it would be a cute decor piece on the kitchen counter or on our open shelving we're gonna have in the fixer upper. At that same antique store, this awesome vintage spoon. I feel like I could keep this here. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, it was a dollar, so I thought that would be fun. Honestly, get a few more, a larger crock, put a couple wooden spoons in there, and you have a cute decor piece. Actually, all of these next items are at the same antique store. There are a lot of different booths. I love going to antique stores for that reason because each time you go, different booths could be having different sales, and so it was really fun. All the items I got were actually on sale, so that was a bonus. So this candlestick, I don't know if I'll actually use it over there or here, because I have four or five of these. This is the tallest one I've seen. It's like eight inches or so. Um, this candlestick was $4. It was 20% off. So this booth, I got some of these items that had 20% off. So it was a $4 brass candlestick and just really pretty with some patina happening on the stem there. And then I could not pass up a rolling pin and I think that will be such a cute touch to my little fixer upper decor. Rolling pin was $8 originally. 20% off, so it's $6.40, and I like that it's not separated. I don't know if that's really how more vintage ones are. They're all connected, but it's really sturdy. This next piece, I saw two of them in that same booth. I love these accordion-style hangers. thought this would make a good coat rack, a good utensil rack. I have one in my own house. This was the sturdier one out of the two, and it was $12 originally, um, so $9.60, and I just... I think it's in really good condition, so you can either hang it long, like this. This could make a good coat rack. Um, like I said, utensil holder, something of the sort. And then the next item I got, I'm so excited. I have a small space that I wanna put a bench in, and I found a really adorable bench. This bench was $30, and so 20% off of that was about $24. So. I'm gonna just insert a clip of it here. It's got a dark stain on it. It's got a little bit of a green accent on the sides. It'll just be so adorable for someone to sit on, to put their shoes on, to throw a coat over, whatnot. Um, and just a small, cute little bench that's probably, oh, like a foot by three feet. And I think it'll just be adorable in our little fixer upper. So that is all I have for the haul. I hope to be sharing more with you as this Fixer Upper Cottage comes along. So hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and I'll talk with you in my next video. Bye.